Yo, what's good, YouTube? How y'all doing? So we got smoking is awesome, and yeah, let's get it. Hope you guys enjoy. It. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and yeah. The problem with smoking is that it's kind of amazing. This is an irresponsible thing to say, but a if we're bit. going to talk about it, we might as well do so honestly. Smoking creates a temporary problem and offers an instant solution. Hmm. Once your brain is used to nicotine, for up to 72 hours, you're itchy, nervous, and stressed. But one drag, and instantly, you feel really good. And this is why I will never, ever, ever, ever take a puff of one of those, because the scent alone, man, like, come on. But it's way more than just a physical addiction. Smoking helps you focus at work and is an excuse to take regular breaks, which is good for you mentally. It's a tool against boredom, it suppresses your appetite, it makes bad moments feel less bad and good moments better. It's social, fun together, and a good way to make friends as smokers always group up. Your lips are one of the most sensitive parts of your body, and putting something between them is deeply satisfying. So oh, really? I, I'm going I'm I'm to keep that in mind. So now that we've given smoking an honest introduction, let's smoke a cigarette together to see why it makes you feel so good, and what exactly happens inside your body when you do it. The best worst thing. A cigarette is dried tobacco leaves mixed with chemicals that make it burn slowly, helping you to Like rat poisoning, you know, like chemicals that causes cancer and, you know, all the extra stuff, you know. We're not going to get too deep into it. To absorb <laughs> nicotine and flavors that make the smoke less harsh. Let's light it. Cigarette smoke is 95% gases like carbon dioxide and water vapor. The remaining 5% are particles called tar, and they contain the magic source, carbon or nitrogen compounds filled with nicotine. As you inhale, billions of particles interact with everything they pass through, getting stuck on your throat, tongue and trachea. Your lungs are like big inflatable sponges and have a filter and barrier. The oh, cilia really? cells with hair-like extensions covered by a layer of mucus. They trap dust or bacteria to be swept away in a sort of dance. Tar particles land in the mucus and turn into a sticky brown substance that stops the dance and paralyzes the cilia, allowing them oh. to get deeper into your lungs to the alveoli. Yeah, I see, I never knew that. All right, so cool. So that's what, so this is why like smoking cigarettes is bad because of this. Interesting. Alveoli are little air sacs and here's where your actual breathing happens. They have very thin walls so that oxygen can transfer to your blood and carbon dioxide can leave. Now the magic is released. Nicotine passes through the thin walls and enters your bloodstream, reaching your brain so fast that it feels instant. The positive effect arrives right away. If your brain had a control board, smoking would be like pressing all the buttons at once, releasing loads of transmitters and hormones that affect your whole body. Epi so, have, for people who smoke cigarettes, right? Why not just smoke weed? I'm just assuming that it's like legal to get, but it's just like, why not just smoke weed? If you're gonna smoke, smoke something that's not gonna kill you. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're addicted to cigarettes, I think it would be like an easy transition to weed. Wouldn't it be like to cannabis? I think it would. Nephrin and cortisol. If you smoke cigarettes, just let me know in the comments, bro. <laughs> Make your heart beat faster and your body ready for action. Dopamine makes you feel happy and relaxed and reduces your appetite. Beta endorphins reduce pain and stress. Nicotine excites and calms you at the same time. You become more alert and able to focus. Your nerves become more sensitive to pleasant oh, really? sensations. Then your whole body relaxes. I never knew cigarette does all this. I thought it was just like um, a kind of addiction, just like just doing like token and just like that's the addiction but i didn't know it have like really like effects on your body like that that makes you feel good and stuff like i never knew that together all of these effects just feel great but your brain immediately tries to return to normal and pushes back against the effects of nicotine which is fine as long as you have nicotine inside your blood but once its effects wear off your body is left overcompensating creating a massive imbalance within itself down. The more you smoke, the harder your body tries to push back, which is why nicotine is so addictive. You stop feeling like yourself without it. It's still great, but now you also need it just to feel normal. If that was all smoking did, well, that would be kind of okay.
I guess we're about to go into the nitty gritty stuff now. Nicotine comes with thousands of different chemical buddies. Cadmium, lead, arsenic, and cyanide, hydrogen peroxide or nitrogen oxides cause Damn. damage wherever they end up. Carbon monoxide reduces how much oxygen your blood can carry. In your lungs, your cilia cells struggle. It's hard to push mucus clogged up with tar and some of your cilia cells die. Your alveoli mm. are super sensitive and can't handle this sort of stress. A few of your tiny air sacs pop like balloons, causing irreparable damage. Wow. Your body needs to get rid of all this tar immediately. Goblet cells pump out extra mucus to compensate, which makes breathing harder, so you start coughing to get the tar and mucus out. Oh, so this is why they have like the smokers cough. You know, it's not like you're like you have a, like a common cold or anything. It's just like a cough that just just lingers around and it just wouldn't go away. Also, it produces more. Oh, okay, I see. Your immune system activates and macrophages begin eating up tar particles. Smokers have way more of these cleanup cells here because their lungs are literally full of dirt. Mm. But the nicotine makes the macrophages sluggish and inefficient. Worse, they vomit chemicals that dissolve your lung tissue and cause tiny wounds that turn into scar tissue. Scars in your lungs are bad if you like breathing. Nicotine raises your heart rate while ordering blood vessels all over your body to constrict. Meanwhile, toxic chemicals get stuck, causing countless tiny wounds all over your body that will turn into scars. What if Those like scars leak? So I'm guessing it's gonna block it off. Like clogged it. Tiny wounds all over your body that will turn into scars. Those scars leak proteins that create random blood clots, making your blood vessels even narrower. Constricted and narrow vessels put a lot of stress on your heart muscle that has to work much harder to keep blood flowing. <laughs> Brother, why the animations is so funny? <laughs> like I'm watching it, right? And I'm like, I'm noticing like little like fun like quirky stuff and i'm like all right this is kind of cool <laughs> keeps it entertaining inside your skin the chemicals trigger enzymes that break down collagen the protein that makes your skin elastic and smooth this creates folds and wrinkles your skin ages much quicker and you look older sooner Ooh. but maybe the worst thing is what happens to your immune system all over your body it reacts to tiny wounds and activates fighting an invisible enemy damaging healthy cells in the process while at the same time, the nicotine makes it slow and sluggish. Worse at fighting actual diseases. We could go on like this, but this is getting old. But how is this not... How is this legal to sell to, like, American, like, citizens, bro? Like, you seen all this bad impact and you're still selling this to the public, but yet still naming marijuana or can cannabis as some drug that, like... Bro, come on, man. It's all backwards, bro. <laughs> In a nutshell, every single one of your organs is highly stressed and suffers some kind of permanent damage. Over time, fats get stuck in the scars inside blood vessels, which get narrower and narrower until they start to suffocate your organs. Your overworked heart beats even harder to push blood through the extra resistance, and your blood pressure rises. So hard that fluids seep out of blood vessels into your lungs, which Damn. makes breathing even harder. The likelihood of a blood clot blocking a critical passage in the body rises enormously, which can eventually cause a heart attack or a stroke. Almost all smokers eventually get chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. So many of your alveoli are irreversibly destroyed that you're always short of breath, never able to breathe freely. Once you have it, it can only get worse, never better again. Mm -hmm. Finally, there's cancer. You get a sort of double whammy. On the one hand, you flood your whole system and especially your lungs with at least 70 highly cancer-causing chemicals. And on the other hand, you paralyze the part of your immune system that kills and prevents cancer. This is why cancer is so likely in smokers. Ultimately, smoking is uniquely dangerous among the things you are legally allowed to do. The average smoker loses 10 years of life, which means that some lose like 5 years and others more like 25. You Damn. don't know which one will be you. But it cuts into your health span even. Yeah, it's definitely not even worth it, bro. When cut 25 years, you know, like that one movie where you have to, like, um, you purchase things by your lifespan. I think it's called In Time or something. Look it up, bro. That's such a good movie. Even more, making a much larger part of your life spent being chronically sick. 
Oof. So why don't smokers not just, like, stop doing it? Smokers are often seen as unhinged or without discipline, which is unfair. Nicotine is one of the most physically and psychologically addictive substances known to humanity. If you ever start using it, you'll likely struggle with it for the rest of your life. Don't the start. physical addiction lasts around three days, but the psychological addiction is much harder to overcome because you form strong habits and it's connected to many social cues, like hanging out with friends or winding down from work. The perverse thing is that almost everybody who starts smoking starts smoking as a teenager. The tobacco industry has to target vulnerable brains and get them hooked on the pleasurable effects of nicotine or it would go away. Today, about a it million people will light a cigarette, which is a lot, but at least the trends are looking good. In 2000, 34% of adults were smoking. In 2020, it was only 23%. Because cannabis legalization is getting up there, more places is legalizing it, so a lot more people is ditching the cigarettes and going for the cannabis. And you're doing your body a favor, bro. You're, I'm telling you, you're doing your body a favor. Still, in 2023, about 8 million people died from it. But it's not wow. all doom and gloom. There are many successful strategies for quitting. We've put links to some in the video description. People who stop smoking by the age of 35, on average, don't die earlier than non-smokers. If you're older than that, even quitting late can add years to your life. Oh, really? It's a bit like with climate change. Every bit counts, even if damage has already been done. It's never too late to change, bro. It's never too late. We're not the morality or health police. You do you. But at least be aware what exactly you're doing and why you're doing it. Most of you watching this don't smoke, so, well, just maybe never try it. Smoking only really solves a temporary problem, but it creates loads of permanent ones. Hmm, <clears throat> good thing I never started. But it's not like I never do things I know I shouldn't. Like using sketchy free Wi Fi's or downloading files without double checking. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna skip this ad. <laughs> I'm not a computer. This whole thing is an ad. Faster. Working out yeah, that's, that's it for this video. The rest of the video is just an ad. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. As usual, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what your thought is about this reaction and the whole video and the information that's given out there. And I'll be reading them and responding to them because this is something I actually care about. So, yeah. See you for the next one.